Hello. Hello. It's, it's the Horsey Shan Show. Diddly dee. <laughs> Get out, do Good morning, everybody. It's day 16. This is Dylan. And me and Dylan are going to accompany Auntie Pam. Glory. And Tiny for his third trip round the cricket pitch to help with the little injury that he had, which is all going really well. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, Dylan's bed hair, <laughs> bed head, <laughs> and get tacked up. There's lots of flies about today, the little tickly, tickly horrible flies. So we're going to get on and get out. Giving Dylan a quick brush. You can see his, you can see his coat's coming out because his winter coat's coming through. I don't know if you can see all the grease in the coat, which is really good, I think, in my opinion. So he has a coat on all summer, so I hope we try and make it so that he doesn't have to wear a coat during the winter. So they don't get bathed. They might get washed down if it's really warm and they've sweated quite a lot, but they don't get bathed. They don't want to take all the oil out and keep their coat as natural as possible. What's a bit concerning is, let's put a bit of weight on. So we're going to have to watch that. Like I said the other day, I think the grass is coming through. So we're really going to have to watch this. Aren't we, Phil Fatty? Hello. 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 It's afternoon. I'm just walking up the field and I thought I might introduce you to a tree. This is tree. But it's a lovely tree. And it's lovely. When I'm down at the stables, down there, that building, down there. I can look up at this and it's a perfect shape. I'm useless at what kind of tree it is. But um, it's just a perfect shape to look at and it's really calming. But also there's this little seat bit here. And I come and sit here and I can spend some undemanding time with the horses. So, it's a bit of an electric fence right in my head at the minute. So I like to come and sit in the tree, just watch the horses and see what they do. So I'll turn the phone round and see, because they've come, they've come to see me, which is really nice. Okay, so full disclosure, I did this. I went and sat in the field because by the time, when the time came around that I'd uh, put aside to do a bit of uh, groundwork with Chief, I just hit an absolute wall. I'd been running around all day and I was absolutely shattered. And I thought, there's no point. So I just thought, what can I do to interact with them? And what came into my mind was just some undemanded time. So I don't know if you saw then, but Tiny trotted up the field a bit, which is really good. He had a little trot on our ride as well. And he was, I would say 90% okay but he was offering to trot which was really good so anyway i'm just sat in my tree and they're thinking are you gonna come and move this fence and i'm thinking no i'm not because you're little fatties so we'll just see see what happens if you were doing this and you'd never done it before and you were trying to like build a partnership with your horse you would just simply sit somewhere, possibly with your back to them, not looking at them, the horse, and just wait for them to come. And the and the the object is not to really interact. But I've done this quite a few times now, so I know that they probably will come over. So Dylan's coming over first. But if you watch what Dylan does, 
he's looking straight at me and then he kind of veers off so he doesn't come straight up to me he's like checking me for carrots and mugging me he goes off politely stands to the side very polite but that's his personality or horsonality if you uh, if you've done a bit of Pirelli he's very much he's what they would call a right brain introvert naturally is Dylan Tiny's the same but Chief is a left brain introvert or extrovert he's like on the cusp but he will come up and just mug you because he's a lot more confident than the other two in that sort of thing and they're all still chewing because they've just had the tea and they're all well d actually Chief's not bad but Tiny and Dylan are just covered in turmeric which they are just nicely spreading all over me at the moment just wiping their faces on me So, I'm doing a voiceover because it was really windy, you can hardly hear me. So it's just really nice, just hanging out and chilling. Just on demanding time. Just seeing what they do. Tiny, it's a twig. Hello, Chief. I was thinking the other day, Chief can be quite nippy. I'm probably just going to tempt fate here, but I found recently he's not as nippy with me. He doesn't pull faces as much. You know, that sort of grumpy face. He doesn't do it. And I think it's because I'm a lot more gentle with him. You can kind of have a, have a, I don't know, if somebody pulls a face at you, it kind of puts you on the defensive, doesn't it? But I don't. I've just been really, really gentle with him. And he seems to, uh, it's as if he was, do you know what I mean? It's as if he was on the defensive instead of me. I'm thinking he started it, but actually, did I start it? All this horse psychology it's so uh, intriguing so it's a really nice day I think I'm gonna leave Tiny's coat off it's breezy but it's not um, it's not a cool breeze which it has been the last day or so we've had like a northerly breeze this is a lot more southerly coming from the south so Just nice, just nice to sit. It's about, would it be about half five at night in the in, in the afternoon? Dylan's got his uh, spare coat on. His other one's been washed and repaired. He's got a few rips in it, which I think were caused by Chief. So I just, I stayed a little bit longer, a couple of minutes longer and Chief came back to see me on his own, which is nice. It was a bit different to last, the last time I did it when I, when, like I say, he was, he was a bit more standoffish than the other two. And then Dylan's coming back to say hello. We just watched did you see that that was chief's grumpy face telling dylan to go away so the hierarchy with these three is tiny then chief and then dylan so tiny knows his place he's in charge and chief has to be the one that has to keep his position he's not got a lot of competition from dylan though really dylan's just not interested in <laughs> He just wants a quiet life. 
I don't know if they'll change as Tiny gets a bit older. I'm not sure. That will be interesting. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll call it a day. So tired. Just wanted to go to bed. I had more things to do. But anyway, onward. We'll see you next time. Bye.